If we apply a cyclic load to a component, after a given number of time or cycles, component fracture will occur if the cyclic loads are high enough. Before we plot the fatigue data, it is important to first define a few terms. Here we have a constant amplitude, fully reversed stress waveform being applied. As you can see, the same stress is being applied in tension and compression, and these are our minimum and maximum stresses. The stress range is defined as the difference between the maximum and minimum stresses, where the stress amplitude is defined as half of the stress range. Finally, the mean stress, as the name implies, is the average of the minimum and maximum stresses. In this example, as the waveform is fully reversed, the mean stress here is zero. However, we can have a mean stress that is greater than zero. Having a tensile mean stress will normally cause a decrease in the fatigue life of the component. If we repeat this test a number of times with different stress ranges, we could plot the data on a graph called an SN curve. If we put the number of cycles to failure N on the x-axis and the applied stress range on the y-axis, we start to form our SN curve. Due to the cycles to failure being so large for some stress ranges, a logarithmic scale is used on the x-axis. If we plot a line of best fit through the data, we can now estimate the cycles to failure for any given stress range. 